Hi there, it's Laura at Hyperstamper. I have another Christmas journal. So this is another one of my antique books. This is actually the cover of two different antique books, uh, one on top of the other. And I have filled it with nothing but antique and vintage Christmas themed ephemera. So every single page, every insert, everything is from ephemera I have collected that has Christmas theme. Even on the cover here, I've got this uh, title page from the, an antique book, The Christmas Carol. And I've got a vintage earring here and some trim up here. And then these are actually vintage jingle bells from the 50s. I love them. I love that one's rusted. I've got some vintage beads on there. Vintage crochet. I love it. So let's take a little journey through this uh, Christmas album or junk journal before I put it in my Etsy shop, which is hyperstamper.etsy.com. And this is um, a very inexpensive one, actually. So uh, check it out. I've got this 100-year-old banknote here because it is green and red. And I left the original first page here with the inscription on it. And this is a vintage Christmas or winter theme. And then Christmas over here, little hymn, the cradle hymn. This is a 1970s Christmas seal. And a 1950s magazine page with Christmas decoration and Christmas crafts. They're so fun. This here is a beautiful antique postcard and this one is from 1918. It's got the little um, Christmas note here and uh, that is from Pennsylvania. Christmas book page here and a Christmas carol here. I love it so much and then got a fun cluster down here and then this is a 1961. Mrs. Santa Claus Saved Christmas. Isn't that great? I love it. So a, a great Christmas theme magazine page there. Fun little story. Here is a Christmas hymn from a vintage songbook. And this is from an antique book here. And that is Scrooge. And in the same theme here, we've got um, some people dancing under the holly here at a Christmas party. And you can journal on the back of that. That's from the 50s, that one. This is wonderful antique book here, a little illustration of a lantern. Always makes me think of Christmas time. And this is just one. We've got the Christmas tree here and these brand new sewing machines. Actually, that's pretty expensive for the 50s, isn't it? $300. And uh, these awesome vacuum cleaners. I just love it. I love it so much. It's just really telling of the times and people's Christmas wish lists from the 50s. And then we've got more Christmas crafts there from the 50s. It's not great, a hand stamp there. This is from an old page here. Of course, that is from the Christmas Carol as well. Beautiful plate there, you can join on the back. A lovely piece of antique crochet here. And a vintage pattern here that's red and green. Kind of rare, but I, I had one pattern. I'm making it last. This is a fabulous uh, children's book page from the 20s and, um, oh, sorry, the 30s. I love the greens and reds. The reds are almost an orange. It's just fantastic. Some vintage wrapping paper here. And then over here, I made a little pocket. And look at this great, great picture of Santa Claus. And this one is from the 20s. So on one side, it was a Halloween. And on the other side, it was Santa. And I was going to cover this and I thought, no, it's too pretty. It's too wonderful to cover. So I'll tuck that in there. I chose this doily, 1950s um, doily making book, and uh, because I had the candy canes across the top. Isn't that great? I love it. And here's another uh, Bobsy Twin book here from the 50s. And these are some lovely 1930s uh, pages from a children's book all about Christmas. Great. And then this is beautiful, beautiful antique lace. I love it so much. I just think it's gorgeous. And I love this. This is another one from the same book here. It's got the little notes to Santa on the other side. And this pocket here is from a Kirsten's craft page from the 40s. Great. And then up here is another postcard. Now this is sort of a cool kind of postcard. It was called a picture postcard for children. So they would receive it and then they would color it. And some little children, child along the way, colored this. And I love that. And I don't see those very often. So it was very special to get that one. Got some lace here. That is a vintage, um, that one is 51 years old, Santa Claus book. Another wonderful uh, Christmas story here. You can see a little bird with holly there. And again, looks like we have a, 
<laughs> fun one on the other side. And then 12 Days of Christmas, another vintage songbook page. And this is wonderful from a magazine, Christmas Dinners. And I, that's really special. I love the purples. It's just really beautiful. This is from that gorgeous vintage book I have, The Robin's Christmas. I put antique paper on the back so you can journal on there. And it's very sweet. They're looking in the window here at the Christmas tree where they want to make their nest. It's a sweet story. Got that from a um, vintage magazine. And this is also from a vintage children's book from the 40s. Christmas candy. Look at this wonderful magazine page. A little checklist here of things you need to do and make. And then the wonderful advertisements on the other side. So fun to read old advertisements. It's one of my favorite things to find when I get my hands on old magazines. There's the flip side of that. Look at this from the 40s. Isn't that great? Dad taking the kids out to pick out a tree. And then this is a, a very old book page here. Christmas surprises, again, journaling spot. And here's a lovely little snowman page here from a children's book that made it into a pocket. Told under the Christmas tree. Another great magazine page here with cookies on one side, recipe on the other. And look at this is from 1896. Um, and it is absolutely fabulous. It's this little girl here in the snow and she's got her snowshoes. It's really quite precious. It's very old, a little brittle, but um, makes a spectacular addition to this beautiful Christmas journal. A Home for Christmas page here, my vintage book. More vintage wrapping paper from the 50s. Another one of those. Christmas gift for the general, from another kind of book. And I love this one here from a vintage book. Uh, there's the, uh, the acronym here, winter, and all the different things that they wrote in for it. I just think that's so fun. Wonderful little vintage book page here from a Christmas story. And that brings us to the end of the book. So I hope you love it as much as I loved making it. It was really special for me. Hop over to hyperstamper.itsy.com and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.